So the first thing we want to do is determine um, any vertical asymptotes that we can find, and we do that by setting the denominator equal to zero. So I'm going to take x to the fifth minus 4x cubed and set that equal to zero, and I can factor out um, an x cubed, and that'll leave me with an x squared minus 4 in parentheses, and then x squared minus 4, that's a difference of squares, so that can also be factored down to an x plus 2 times an x minus 2. And that means that I have three vertical asymptotes. The first is when x is equal to 0, because 0 cubed would give me a 0 in the denominator. The second vertical asymptote is at x equals negative 2. So I put in a negative 2 for x, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, and again, that's a 0 in the denominator. And then finally, x equals positive 2 will also be a vertical asymptote. So I end up with three vertical asymptotes. When I check the graph to see what this looks like, I can see um, this was graphed with Geometer Sketchpad. And here I have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2. Here's another vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And then here's um, a final one at x equals positive 2. The next thing I want to look for um, would be any horizontal asymptotes. And those, um, I want to look at the graph for the end behavior and see what value um, the ends of my function are approaching. As I look to um, the negative extreme, um, heading off here to the left, my curve is approaching 0. Um, so this would be the x-axis. And then as I look um, to the other extreme, the curve is also in the positive direction going off to the right. It's approaching the x-axis. So it looks like the x-axis itself is the horizontal asymptote. Um, it doesn't matter that this curve is crossing it um, crossing that horizontal asymptote here because it's only the end behavior that we're worried about, what's happening as the function goes off to the left and the right extremes. So um, I have a horizontal asymptote then located um, on the x-axis and that is where y is equal to zero. And the last thing to check for is um, the existence of a slant or an oblique asymptote, and that would only happen if the degree of the numerator is one more than the degree of the denominator. The degree of the numerator is 1, because the power on the x is 1. Um, the degree of the denominator, though, is 5, and that definitely um, is not going to give me a slant asymptote. So I have no slant asymptotes.